All right, guys, this game, we're into Lucian mid. Um, I don't know. I'm just like trying out this rune setup against Lucian mid. I feel like usually electrocute's fine to take, but secondary, I feel like you should still go resolve against Lucian. You should go like second win or bone plating. Just whatever you think is better. But I'm just trying absolute both gathering storm in this matchup. It just means that I have to play a little bit more safe. And then instead of the usual like D shield start, with one potion to Lucian, I decided I'm just gonna go Dark Steel three potion. Just I get a lot of sustain because for each potion it's 150, so I get a total of 450 HP from these three potions, which I'm probably gonna be able to use them in lane. But keep in mind, most Lucians will go Ignite into Katarina, right? Because if they go Ignite, then they have kill pressure. But this guy went Exhaust, so that means he's pretty much just playing for lane control. He's gonna deny me a lot of CS, but he should never really have kill pressure on me. Not until like later levels or until he has items. But in the early game, he has no kill pressure whatsoever. At least he shouldn't. <clears throat> Just gonna have to let the wave come into us. Not much we can really do about that. He's ranged, we're melee, so he gets to dictate the lane. That I'm really griefing by walking up. <clears throat> My team's actually like not too bad. I have Niles and Nintendo to X on my team. Okay, we're only down three CS right now. But you see how he's like walking up to the Naimi creeps? Nice, we burn his dash there. <clears throat> Gonna pop this other potion. Our way is pushing towards him. I wish my Morgana would have came here, but they want to dive top. Let's hope the top play works out. I'm really just eating all these cues. That's so bad of me. Not gonna TP to this play. They should be able to do this just fine. Ooh. Yeah, we just want to stay like relatively even in CS. I'm not sure if I've uploaded a commentary against me versus Lucian. Um, but one thing I have said multiple times on my stream whenever I'm versing Lucian, well, he's a he's a lane bully, so you're gonna fall down a lot of CS, and it's not really your fault. Like it's not you being a bad player or anything. You know what I mean? Like if you're against Jace or Lucian, it's a given to be down 30 CS at some point in the matchup. There's nothing you can do avo to avoid that. It's just how it is. We should look to kill this guy. Nice. Got both his sums. My Morgana got the cannon though, sadly. Alright, we just push this in. And then we're good to go. That was really good. Should probably place a lane ward. It's whatever. All right, first base here. Most people would get baited and go for Seekers because like, oh, you're versing AD champion. But the fact of the matter is, Seekers is kind of useless now. He gives you 30 armor and like 20 AP. It's just not that good. So I just prefer to either rush Source Shoes or Alternator. Usually I go for Sword Shoes just because it gives me lots of flat magic pen and more roaming potential. But some people will go for alternator. Sometimes I do it as well. I have TP for if they're getting Dove on bot.
All right. Well, they still have all sums, sadly. It's not good. Oh, there's the FPS bug again. I'm not sure if this happens to anyone else right now, but it like automatically enables V-Sync without it actually being on. So you just have to enable V-Sync and then disable it. And your FPS gets fixed. It's weird. Okay, got my ult leveled up now. I still have two trinkets. I'm gonna push this wave in, then try to get a lane ward. Then look for a roam afterwards. Wow. Pop that ward right there. Nidalee. Wow, she's staying there. Surely the Lucian's running bot, right? Damn, the Nidalee just conceded her entire topside. <laughs> we got the full first tower at 8 minutes on top, that's crazy. Alright, just build this. <clears throat> Alright. I'm 3-1. Sadly, I gave up pretty much two plates for that. But we killed the Nasus and we got first tower gold. So, I'm gonna say that's worth. this what I couldn't jump out of that that's so strange my E was off cooldown I was spamming E on it still didn't go off all good I'm just gonna run back to mid here that was a free kill though we got our flash at least that was definitely an illegal play by her though, she should have been dead. Once again, Protoball rush this game, and then probably, I don't think I'm gonna go Zonya's next, I'm just gonna go Lich Bane next, or Nashor's Tooth. I'll just try Nashor's Tooth actually. Cause a lot of people have been, have been telling me that it's better to go instead of Lich Bane or Zonya's second. So I'll just listen. Maybe this was warded. When I walked through it, I'm not too sure. Like we're only down 15 CS. It's actually like very good. Yeah, like I said earlier, whenever you're in, uh, whenever you're playing Katarina versus either Lucian or Jace, you should always expect to fall down. Like, nice. Got his R. Got his exhaust. You should always expect to fall down like 30 CS. That's just how it is. Has 
No shots. Just getting extra amp tome here because nothing else I can buy. After that blasting once. Look at our AP. We gotta keep in mind if this game goes to late, it might be a little bit hard for me to play the game. They have double exhaust. And realistically, they're not gonna be exhausting anyone except for me. Because like Lulu's not gonna get in the range of anyone, right? Like my the Lulu isn't gonna exhaust the, the set, right? Or the Morgana or anything like that. I'm gonna be the only target for exhaust this game. So it's gonna be very difficult for me to play. They're never gonna get in range to exhaust my Jinx or anything. So we just have to make sure that this game uh, ends early if I wanna be able to do something. This is like my strongest point almost. I'm sure my team will still be able to pop off though. Could have comboed that better, but we got his uh, his Gale Force and his R. Get some tower platings while we can. We still have a minute and a half here. Nidalee is down here. Huh? Good thing I didn't take that dagger. An E auto there wouldn't kill him, by the way. Nice, nice, man. Oh, I missed the cannon. Alright, this is fine. I'm not gonna stay to get to the rest of this tower. We're just gonna reset here, gonna get the proto belt, and maybe look for a TV bot. If you're wondering why I could insta jump bow there, it's because if two daggers are stacked on each other, essentially when you E on it, you won't have any cooldown near E. Because each dagger reduces it by 84% right now. And if you're fast enough, then you can just E and E out without taking a uh, tower auto. Hmm. Didn't have enough to get Magize there, sadly. We're just gonna have to go with the recurve bow for now. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna path to, to Dragon here. We should all do it. Why is our Morgana top? I don't get it. He just types oops. Oh, so Lulu just has R again. She just used it on bot, man. What is that? Lucian has exhaust. Forgot that it was up. I thought it was still down. I thought he'd use it on the play that um, he flashed on, but I was wrong. That's my bad. We might just lose Dragon here because of that. Yeah, they're starting it. I'm sure my bot lane is strong enough to fight this, though. We don't have set TP, but it shouldn't matter. It's 1v1 on top. NASA's can't TP. Blows. MV, my bad. All right. Well, this guy is dead. He is dead. Oh, he's not dead somehow.
Almost have our Nashers, 400 gold. Peace, Niles. <laughs> Alright, I got my Nashers. We're just gonna reset here real fast. We're one more stack away from our fully stacked eyeball collection. And yeah, so once again, the reason why going Pro Ball is so strong right now is because you get so much magic pen if you go Sork Shoes. So, I have 29 Magic Pen right now, right? That's 18 from Sword Shoes, 6 for my Rocket Belt, and then another 5 for my Rocket Belt because of one Legendary item I have. So that's 29. And then I also have Sun Impact, so every single time I Shun Po, I get 7 Lethality and 6 Magic Pen. So pretty much right now, I have 35 Magic Pen, right? No one on their team has any MR. So, like even the Nasus, I click on Nasus, he has 43 MR. So we, we pretty much almost do true damage to him. Huh, that's a lot of damage actually. I Me mean, has no MR, but yeah, you, like we do so much. Okay, just gonna pick up the stopwatch here. I'm gonna run straight to bot. Look at my AP, man. 330. If Lucian stays here, I kill him. I have my rocket belt in five seconds. Oh. So Lulu is just sitting right behind him with ult up and everything. I guess I should have expected that. I thought she would have been walking to mid by now though. This character is not fun to play against. If you are playing Katarina, keep that in mind. I'm kind of throwing. I mean, he just gets a kill on me, that's all. And he won't carry the game. Definitely not against our team comp. Lucian cannot do anything against set Katarina Rel. I'm gonna run to top here, because I know for a fact I can 1v1 the Nasus, and I have TP for when Dragon's up. I lost 20 AP there, because I died, so I lost some stacks on my, my Dark Seal. It's a blower. Okay, we see Lulu here. I'm just gonna run at this Nasus. Easy solo kill. He can't do anything. <laughs> There's no MR, so we just kill him immediately. But yeah, we're gonna try to finish our Zonis next. Uh, honestly, I might just go for the uh, Magi's if I, once I have enough. I'm 200 away, but we can keep on farming the Nasus for now. I'm just gonna take Nidalee's caps. The one thing I don't like about going this kind of build is you have no healing in your kit. I'm just gonna TP here. Oh! I'm griefing. I eat into the uh, Aphelios Q. I died to Nidalee though somehow. How'd she kill me? What? Red Smite? Nope. That's weird. Even though I'm like running it down a lot, I'm just gonna pick up the Magi's here. I have a cloth armor because we're gonna finish their Zonia's next. This guy has a stopwatch now, we gotta keep that in mind. <clears throat> so finishing the Magi's is also really good because it counts as a legendary item. So it's it's a it's a very cheap legendary item, pretty much. You always gotta keep that in mind. Cause you're you're how much is Magi's in total? So you spend three, it's 1600. 
And when you already have the uh, the Dark Seal, then it's only 1250. So it's a 1600 legendary item, pretty much. But you're only spending 1250 because you're usually going to start uh, D Seal anyways. So let's just call it a 1250 gold legendary item. And it gives you six, or it gives you a uh, five magic pen as well. And that's very valuable. Especially since no one has MR. What? Hold up. Wait. He has a hundred. Oh, it's his R. It gives so much MR, actually. My bad? Wait, I didn't think his R. I had no idea his R gave MR. He was so tanky, actually. Since when is it doing that? It's probably been for so long, and I just don't know. I just forgot. I'm really throwing my lead. Whatever, this game's gonna be more entertaining. I'm learning as we go. I had no idea NASA's ultimate gave like 60 MR. Rank 2? Rank 2 R? 60 MR? That's so weird. Did that hit? No, it didn't. Okay. I'm just gonna run straight for the Nidalee here with my team. Well, my plan has kind of like went downhill. You know, like I just wanted to farm off the Nasus, that's why I got my Jais, but it, I don't think I can kill him anymore. Like he he's so tanky actually. That's insane to me. Well, now we know. Yeah, I missed the cannon here. Don't even get the XP, wow. Okay, we're gonna base, quickly grab the Seeker's Arm Guard. Hopefully that will help us out a little bit. Um, we need to try to do Nash soon. Could they be on it right now? Could they just be rushing it? No way, yeah. Okay, Nash is on top. We're gonna run straight mid. We wanna get mid prowl, that way we can tr control the top side so that no one can walk in. And then the thing is with our comp, their team has no engage whatsoever. They have no face check besides Nasus, but he's not even that tanky if we're all hitting him. So that means we can just control topside vision and force them to walk into us. Okay. Uh. Okay, our set's going in. Winnable, winnable. Had to quickly shump out of Lucian's range so I don't die there. Nice, that's very good. I'm way too low. I'm way too low to do anything. I'm just gonna base. Maybe I can TP back. I don't know. They should be able to get Nash, just them three. <laughs> okay. I guess that was unnecessary. I'll just push one more top wave. Maybe go for top tower. Dragon's up in 45. I should have time to get this. All right. I'm gonna grab this. Next, we'll just build this as well. Thirty-nine magic pen, forty-five including sun impact. No one on their team has any MR besides the Nasus currently. Like, look at the field. Thirty-one MR. I do true damage to him. Lulu, thirty-four. I do true damage to her too. Any stat, any damage you see here, it's like it's it's actually like true. I guess that's what true damage means. I 
And I have 10 stocks on my image eyes once again. Okay. I was expecting a uh, flash engage with my rel when I went on that dagger, or went on the Lulu, but he didn't react. Whatever, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Armor got on a base and just let the Nidalee go over the wall. Damn, he just sniped him. No shot, I just missed the cannon there. I have no much eye stacks again, but whatever. No, don't engage here. <laughs> okay. What the hell, man? My rel should have been there for a shampoo, but she ran away. Dude, my rel was really good. When I double stacked the dagger here, I could have went in on it and then instantly shampoo to her, but she she walked away from me, so she didn't have the same idea once again. I don't think she understands how Katarina works. If I'm being honest. Oh my god, this Nasus is huge. That's a wombo. I'm not even here for this fight. Wow. That was insane. Good job, everyone. Oh, we could have ended mid. It's fine. Now let's perform that game. I kind of threw my lead a lot. But so many weird things happened. Whatever, I limit tested. It's fine. Hope I at least like showed you how to play the matchup. I did the most damage in the game, too. That's really good. But Electric's really strong. You do so much damage with this Keystone right now with this build. And like I said, like I I will I will say this as many times as I, as I have to, okay? With this build right now in this meta, you're gonna have like three AD champions on your team per game. People on enemy team can't really afford to build MR. Like we even saw this game, right? They're they're building MR finally at like 30 minutes in the game. Because this is when like they actually have to buy it now. Because we have a Morgana. But like most games, I'm not going to have a Morgana jungle, right? You're not going to have a Morgana jungle. You're going to have any AD jungler in this current meta. You're going to have an Udyr. You're going to have a Hecarim. You're going to have, um, I don't know, like a Lee Sin, right? Something like that. You're going to have three to four AD champions on your, on your team. And the enemy team, they just won't be able to build MR. So you go this build, you get Protobelt, Sword Shoes, Lichuane, or Nashers, Zhonya's, Magi's. You have like above 40 flat magic penetration and they can't even get above like 40 MR. So you do complete true damage to everyone on the enemy team and it's just like an insane amount of damage. It really is. Like <sighs> carries just cannot survive. Like maybe this is why they're nerfing Katarina, you know? 
I actually uh, that's I actually don't know why they're nerfing Katarina, but they are next patch, believe it or not. Not sure what they're nerfing about here. Maybe uh, by the time this, this game is uploaded, the details re will be released. But currently, as you can see, it's it's 10.02 p.m. on May 3rd, so details have not been released yet as to what the Katarina nerfs are. I'm just going to assume they're probably something to do with her daggers. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Oh my god, someone just subbed. I'm not even streaming. That's really weird. That's a weird guy. I won't lie. Alright, if you like this video, drop a like, leave a comment on what you want to see in the next um, Katarina commentary. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do commentaries on other champions too. I saw a lot of comments in a previous uh, video where people were saying like, oh, do a commentary on Akali or other champions that you play because a lot of people know this, I'm not a one trick. I used to play pro, I used to play for TSM Academy. I literally play everything. So just let me know what commentaries you want to see. Uh, people mostly know me for Katarina, Cassiopeia, and Zoe in high elo. So yeah, just let me know if you want to see one of those two champions or even a Kali. But yeah, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. I love you all.